Hey friends, Dylan Bates here with The Final Cut Bro. Today I have a really quick tip tutorial for you that will hopefully save you a lot of time. Now this is gonna work especially well with like an interview setting where you have lots of B-roll, but it can work in pretty much any circumstance. Okay, so normally you would do your entire edit of your video and we'll just pretend like this is a fully edited video. And we have our, you know, A roll here of the person talking, and then there would be B roll intercut. Um, but every once in a while, you go back to the person, and you need to have a common grade, you know, set across all of the clips. Now, you could go in here, Command 6, and do your grade, and we're just gonna go kind of crazy just to really show this point okay so we'll pretend like this person is doing lsd and um, they need to, we need this kind of grade across all of the clips so if you select it and you can do command c command shift v and paste that color grade on both clips which might work for you but you might notice later on they might say oh hey we want you to zoom past this awful uh, lighting pole that you were an idiot and you left in your frame so all you gotta do now is go to each of those clips and scale it up and you want to copy that command c command shift v and paste the transform on this clip so that might work for you but i feel like that's very time consuming Here's where the real time saving trick comes in. So I'm gonna delete those and I'll just get rid of these attributes with Command Shift X and we'll lengthen this clip out. Now, when you first put your clip down on the timeline, make sure that you just right click it and go up to new compound clip or you can do option G if you wanna save yourself a little time. We'll just call this Dylan interview clip. So now we have this in a compound clip and this is where the time saving really happens. So let's say there's this edit in between the two clips. Hop into your compound clip and we'll push command six and we'll just push this really far. You'll notice that when I'm in the compound clip, I can change the grade, but if I back out, the grade is copied between both clips and that's where the real time saving happens. So if you have your entire interview clip all within one compound clip, you're not gonna need to edit each individual clip along your timeline. So again, if you wanted to come in here and scale it up past that lighting stand, you can do that and then it will be copied to all of your clips within the timeline. But if you wanna edit an individual clip, then you just back out of your compound clip and then you can come in here and let's say we wanted this one to actually be zoomed out so you do see the lighting stand, you can do that. And so this one will be zoomed in, but this one will be zoomed out and they won't affect each other. So that's hopefully something helpful to you. It's kind of a really fast tutorial. If it was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button. It does help my channel out tremendously and I really, really do appreciate it. Also, if you want, you can subscribe as I have new tutorials just like this one every single Wednesday. And I will see you next week.